$4.3 million. Tobias Rankemeyer, Garrett Greer, Ryan Fee, all with over $3 million in chips. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight takes home nearly $1.5 million. The Andes are going to start at 10,000, blind 30 and 60,000. And there's the sensational You Blow Watch. You would be the hit at the cocktail party if you ever won that. All right, first to act, that is Brett Schaefer, the chip leader from Beloit, Kansas. Folds here. Tobias Reinkenmeyer from Germany out. Another fold, and now Ryan Fee has picked up a pair of deuces. And he's going to raise into Garrett Greer. It's his second WPT final table. He's also finished on the bubble before at the LAPC. Finished eighth at the Legends of Poker, so he's got experience. He's going to make it 300,000 to go. Mohsen Sharania, WPT champion, goes out. And a quick call by Ryan Fee, so we're going to have a flop. Two deuces versus ace nine. Flop comes queen six four rainbow. No help to either player. Fee checks. And now Garrett Greer, he's putting chips out with ace high, 225 to bet. Ryan Fee is going to make the call, Vince. Now, many players would just throw deuces away in that spot. Ryan Fee has made the call. Three comes off. And it goes check, check. Now the board pairs fours. Ryan's going to check. Garrett's giving up. Ryan Fee going to take this spot down with the two deuces. That's pretty good. Ryan Fee, very confident player in his abilities, no doubt about that. 26 years old. Well, he's a high roller. He's made over 2.5 in worldwide earnings. Taking down hand number one here at the fucker right there. <laughs> Ryan Fee. But let's look at the chip count. Brett Schaefer, the chip leader at this point. Just getting started. Ryan Julius. He will fold now Ryan Fee with a queen jack. He's going to raise it to 125. Over to Garrett Greer. He goes out. Mosin out. Round to Brett Schaefer. He's out as well. Now Tobias from Germany will make this call. A couple more chips to play. Tobias Reckemeyer, 27 years old, has already won over $10.4 million in live poker tournaments. Flop Queen Jack 10. That's two pair there for Ryan Fee. Tobias checks. And Ryan doesn't want to play the sneaky. There's too many dangerous things out there. He's going to make a bet of 150. And Tobias quickly ejects the hand. So Ryan Fee going to take down this pot. He's won 2.5 total worldwide earnings. What a player, a high roller, confident as we see. Yeah, won 1.3 million. And he finished second in a big high roller event in Macau. All right, a quick fold by him. Now looking at the DraftKings hole cam. We see Garrett Greer with the ace-king offsuit. He will move it up to 125 to go. Mosin out. Brett Schaefer now with a queen-jack. Folds, fold by the German. Ryan Julius looks down at Jack-10 offsuit. Ryan's from Peoria, Illinois. 30 years old, he will make this call. Got the big blind in there, gonna defend for another 65. And the flop is a 10, 9, 5, so 10s for Ryan Julius. He's out in front, he checks the top pair. Garrett checks right behind him. Now a 7 comes off. Ryan Julius has to be confident he's got the best hand now. So he's gonna make a wager here, 150,000. Garrett Greer. Finally gets the memo. He will fold it. So far tonight, just the Ryans are winning. Wallace? Wallace, there it is. This time, Ryan Julius. Well, Ryan has a younger brother, Kyle, also plays out here in the tour. In fact, played in this tournament. Got busted, was flying back to Chicago. Found out his brother's in there, and he's in flying back to Vegas right now as we speak to watch his brother at this final. That is brotherly love right there. On to the next one. Garrett and Mose and Sharania fold their hands. And now Brett. Brent has two World Series of Poker bracelets. Very quiet, shy guy, but a very tough player. Looks down at a 
Miserable looking 10, three of clubs. He's gonna get fancy with it, makes a raise. Tobias out. All in. And Ryan Julius gonna go all in with a pair of sixes. How much is that? Yeah, Ryan Fee wants to know how much it is behind him. He's looking down at pretty decent ace queen of clubs. I'm also all in. Ryan Fee going over the top with ace queen. And Brett gets out of their way. You got a pair? I do not. Yeah, that's a bold play by Ryan Fee. Gio. Thank you. This is going to be a real good or real bad for your round. <laughs> Pot was raised and re-raised in front of him, and he still went all in with the ace queen of clubs. Now he's got to win the race to eliminate Ryan Julius. The short stack, Ryan Julius putting it all on the line. Let's see if his hand can hold up with the sixes. So far, so good. King, eight, five. Got royal draw, though. Uh, Ryan Fee says he has a royal flush draw. Now that is having confidence in your abilities. When you look at that flop and say you have a royal flush draw. Turn card four diamonds. So far, so good for the pride of Peoria. Can he hold off an ace or a queen on the river? This would be an awful suck out. Ryan Julius would be our sixth place finisher. Can he survive this? Yes, he does. Well, Ryan Julius went to Bradley on a partial golf scholarship. He birdied that hole, Vince, to stay alive. Ryan Fee shake. 4.2 million. Everybody's got chips, though, including our sixth place guy going for a second WPT title, Mosin Sharania, <laughs> with 1.8 million. On the very confident Ryan Fee, 26 year old out of Philly. He's got Jack 10, and he's going to raise with it. Makes 125 to go. Into Garrett Greer, who has a queen six of spades. Ryan Fee staring him down. Garrett's from Newport Beach, California. He'll fold the hand. Now Mosin Sharania also folding. Over to chip leader. Brett Schaefer, and he just calls on the button. Many guys would raise in that spot. The German Tobias going out, but look at this. Ryan Julius also with ace queen, but it's suited. He's on the short stack. Let's see how he's going to play the ace queen of diamonds. Opting to call. So both guys with ace queen just calling the raise of Ryan Fee. And the flop is a king, six, five, but there's two diamonds. Well, Ryan Julius, he's flopped enough flush draw. He's going to check. No continuation bet by Ryan Fee. He checks. And Brett from Kansas also checking. The turn card is another diamond. There's a flush there for Ryan Julius. Check. Yeah, he's got the nuts. Knows those guys can't be too strong, so he checks it to him, hoping they'll bluff at it, and that's what Ryan Fee is doing. He does have a straight draw and a flush draw by drawing dead. Brett gets out of the way. So Ryan Julius looking back. He knows he has a flush. And makes the okie dokie call. Gotta love it. And the river card's another diamond. Well, the board pairs, though. It's the five of diamonds. Well, yeah, Ryan Julius checks. So right now, Ryan Fee also having a flush. But he's too wise and they both check. Ryan Julius gonna take it down with the ace high flush. And he is moving in the right direction tonight, folks. Ryan Fee took the pink, he didn't make that last bet. Save some money. Ryan Julius looking good. Most people don't know who I am, and I kind of like it that way. And my brother is one of the world's best tournament players out there on the circuit today. We're a lot alike, very competitive. We used to fight daily till I just said, man, my mom's going to have a heart attack if, if we don't stop fighting. And we became friends ever since then. He's done a nice job helping me along, getting me involved with some of these top-notch poker players, and it can never hurt to be bouncing ideas off of these guys. Well, we've been doing all well, Ryan Julius is quite a poker player himself. Younger brother Kyle, a little more famous in the poker world, but Ryan says his passion is coaching basketball and yeah. golf. Can we, can we just take the break? Okay. Brett Schaefer quickly folds his hand, and now the German Tobias will play ace high. Ryan Julius is going to take a break, goes out. And now Ryan Fee with ace high, going to raise. Loves the action. Moves it to 125, Garrett out. Over to Motion, who's in the big blind. Looks down at a 10-8 offsuit. He's going to defend. Trying to get lucky.
Flop comes up king 10-9. So 10s. Motion with the best hand now. He's going to check. Ryan Fee not picking up anything. He's going to check as well. Going to the turn. Now an eight comes off. This gives Mosin two pair. 175. 175,000. Not even hesitating about it. Ryan Fee throws it away. And there's the WPT Monster Bar with the Royal Flush Girls. Just always a good time over there. Mosin Sharani had taken down that pot. And that's what's amazing to me. When he came into day three, he only had 30,000 in chips. Mosin was 78 out of 78 players left in this tournament. Here he is at the final table going for a second WPT title. Incredible. Could have quickly fold his hand. Blinds are up to 40 and 80. Brett also going out. The German has picked up the ace king this time. 165. He's raised to 165. You got like three mil, right? Roughly. I don't even know what these chips are. That's 2.73. Yeah, three behind them. Three okay. behind, yeah. Okay, so one what? 165. They got roughly the same amount of chips, and Orion's just calling. Fee out, and Garrett with five deuce is also going to play. Well, he has been enticed because of the size of the pot. He's going to take a look at a flop. The flop comes queen, nine, ten with two spades. Garrett checks the flush draw. Tobias checks. Go ahead. Everybody checks the flop. Well, look at this, another spade. That gives Garrett Greer a flush. Boy, hanging around with junk. And he's going to bet 130,000 here. And Tobias is going to call him with the king of spades. He's got a good shot straight draw and a flush draw. Brian Julius throws the sevens away. German would love to see another spade, but not to be a five of hearts. Well, this time a healthy bet. 455,000. And Tobias jettisons his hand. And Garrett takes down that pot. Elevator. And with that, he has become the new chip table with over four million in chips. Brett Schaefer <laughs> now sitting in second chip position. The winner is going to take home close to 1.5 million. Let's go to the felt. Brett Schaefer from Kansas looks down at an ace four of hearts. Well, this is indeed a very tough final table. All pros at this table. The guys that finish ninth, eighth, and seventh in this tournament, they're all WPT champions. Will the Thrill Fiala finished in ninth. WPT world champion Kevin Stallman finished in eighth. And Jared Jaffe finished in seventh. A tough beat on the TV bubble. Call. Ryan Fee calling with King 10. Garrett going away. Motion Sharania. Also folding, so two-way action, ace five versus king ten. Now flop comes king nine five with two diamonds. Tobias has flopped bottom pair. He is going to bet three hundred thousand. Brian Fee has top pair. He's going to make the call. Going to the turn. It's a three of clubs, no change. And what do you do if you've Tobias now? You get called on the flop when you bet. Well, that's what you do. You bet 650000 Brian Fee going to make the call here. Nice call. Going to the river. It's a queen. Tobias is going to check. Brian checks right behind him. Just a five. Brian Fee going to win this pot with two kings. Yep, he turns it over with complete confidence. Didn't have a set of fives. Didn't have a set of fives. It's a good walker bet. Well, Vince, he is a confident player, but I can tell you, I'm very impressed. He seems to know when to bet, when to call, when to fold. How about when to catch the top pair? Well, that too. <laughs> Speaking of not <laughs> catching, though, tonight is Tobias. So successful, but he just That's can't catch cards yet this oh, evening. Successful, putting it mildly, Vince. The guy's 27, has over 10.4 million in career earnings, and has five seven-figure caches in his career. You can't count on one hand the people that have done that. On to this hand, a few folds. Around to Mosin Sharania. And he also hasn't caught cards so far this evening. He goes out into Brett Schaefer, who is a queen, five of clubs. He'll take a shot at this. And the small blind gonna raise it up to 225,000. 
And Tobias gonna make the call with King-10. Let's go to the flop. It's a jack, a six, deuce. That's a four flush for Brett. Nice flop for him. He's gonna lead out and bet the flush draw here. Tobias is gonna float. He's gonna call with no hand and no draw just to see what happens on the next street. And what happens is the king of clubs comes off, giving Brett a flush, giving Tobias top pair, but Tobias drawing dead. And there's the bet of 350, and of course, Tobias. Yeah, now that he hit his kings, will stick around, make this call. His boat is not floating here, Vince. It's sinking to the bottom. Well, an ace comes off. He's checked with an ace of spades out there. Queen high flush. Oh, that's a surprise. Surprise, it's a shock. Goes check, check. He turns up the flush, obviously wins the pot. Oh, boy. Tobias can't believe he checked that hand. And he realizes it was a bad time to float. Tobias, Reichen and Meyer from Germany. Nothing happening for him so far tonight, but Brett looking good. Six players battling here. About that, every poker player in the world would love to have a title on their resume that they won at Bellagio. Tonight, big stakes. Winner's going to take home close to 1.5 million. Let's go back down to the money pit. Action on motion. A WPT champion. Well, quickly folds the A7 suited. Brett also going out, and Tobias now. He's going to raise it, 165,000. Ryan Julius out. Ryan Fee now. Go to three bet it to 500,000 with just a queen 10. Garrett out. Back on the German. And he's going to fold the hand. Nice raise there by Ryan Fee. He tries to be the burly man all the time. I mean, on the break, I was out there watching him wrap that scarf around his neck. Vince, it took him about five minutes to get it all wrapped up there. It's usually the Europeans that wear them. How many guys from Philly wear these things? No one from no, Philly has that scarf wrapped around. I know. In Philly, they take the no scarf and wrap it around another guy's neck and then <laughs> give it the cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wait till the next time you go back to Philly. You're going to be real popular. You've got a couple scarves at this table. There you see Mosin in a scarf as well. So that could be the new trend out here on the tour. One of these guys win, that's for sure. Well, there's a theory that you don't want to show your neck, the pulse of your neck. It gives away too much of a tell. Or maybe they're just cold, I don't know. But <laughs> Gary Greer right now with Ace Jack. He's going to raise to 160. Mosin out. Brett out. Tobias out as well. Yeah, he's got to be getting frustrated. And now it's on Ryan Julius, not going to play. There he is. But Ryan Fee likes to play and look at flops. He's got the 8-5 of diamonds. The flop comes 10-8-4, all clubs. Ryan's got middle pair. He checks. Garrett with the nut flush draw checks. Nine of hearts on the turn. Well, this gives Garrett a straight draw, too. But right now, Ryan Fee out in front with two eights. He checks. Garrett Greer now reaching for betting chips. 205,000. Ryan Fee loves to play, but not this time. He's going to fold the hand. Give it up to the man from Newport Beach, California, Garrett Greer, 29 years old. Got a lot of fans in the house here tonight at Bellagio. Uh, he's the current chip leader with six players left, nearly 4.5 million in chips. Tobias Reichenmeier, the number one all-time money winner in Germany in <laughs> tournament poker, is now in sixth chip position after coming to this final table in second place. Yeah, nothing seems to be clicking for him, but back to this hand, Mosin Sharania with an ace, five of clubs. Well, he folded the ace, seven of clubs a minute ago. Now he folds the ace, five of clubs. Brett out, and now the great German looks down at a pretty good ace, ten of hearts. Now he's got about 1.1 million left, but well, he's got a better million. I also think this is incredibly strong. Julius out, because, uh, Ryan Fee out. Only one to beat would be Garrett. Let's take a look at his cards. Oh no, he's got a pair of jacks. On. Well, he says all in. He's going to set Tobias all in here with his jacks. So it's two jacks versus ace ten. Uh, two overs? No, but I'm not too bad. Oh. GL, boys and girls. We saw Mosin fold an ace. Tobias's chances are decreased. I feel hearts. Hearts. 
He only has 27% chance to win this pot. Here's the flop, and it is a 10-6 deuce, but the 10s ten ten still behind for Tobias. Yeah, but he knows it's not a bad flop for him. He can win with an ace, a 10, or two running hearts. Tobias, let's see if he can get lucky there. No, five of spades. 10 of yeah, yeah, spades. Tobias now in a lot of trouble to survive here. 10 of spades. Will. Will Ten of spades. <laughs> Ten of spades. <laughs> Ten of spades. <laughs> Ten of spades. <laughs> Don't stop, don't stop. Don't Ten of spades. Stop. Ten of spades. Ten of spades. He's oh putting God, the poker no, voodoo no, no, no. on the Ten card. Right now. Dude, it's the Ten, Ten of spades. spades right now. Here's Garrett's girlfriend, Katie, sweating her man. Can Tobias pull the rabbit out of his hat? Go into the river. Ten of spades. Good queen. There you go. Garrett Greer has won this pot and eliminated the always tough Tobias Reichenmeyer from this tournament. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. This guy was going for his six million dollar cash out tonight in sixth place. Good luck, buddy. It's very nice playing with you. Take care. A great sport. Tobias out in sixth place. Gonna take home 218,000. Let's see what he has to say. Obviously, I'm disappointed. I would have hoped for uh, for a better result. Today just didn't go my way. In fifth place right now, but that's what they're playing for. The winner tonight taking home nearly 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> Very prestigious event. Five Diamond World Poker Classic, five-handed, Annie's a 10,000, blinds 40 and 80. Quick fold by Brett Schaefer. Ryan Julius with the Queen Jack suited. He's going to raise it to 175,000. Ryan Fee, 26-year-old out of Philly, making a call. Garrett Greer out. And Mohsen Sharani, a WPT champion, also going to call with the King 10. So three-way action here. We started this tournament with 586 players. We are down to these five tough pros all of them. Flops, ace, 10, eight, two clubs. Check. Motion checking, Ryan checking. And Ryan Fee also checking. Turn card. Well, deuce of clubs comes off. Motion with the best hand. 175. He's going to get a bet. He said they didn't bet on the flop. They probably don't have an ace. They'd have bet a flush draw, too. I'm going to bet my tens. He's 29 years old out of Chicago, Illinois. Ryan Julius out. Ryan Feeble. Nice bet there by Mosin, who's going for his second WPT title tonight. Show one. One more. Turn card is too good for me to bet fold. Turn to set of deuces. Really? Yeah. He's a heck of a player. Has over 3.3 million in worldwide earnings. Biggest cash, 1.8 million when he won the EPT in Monte Carlo. Motion does well in Europe. He won his WPT title in Paris. Maybe that's why he's wearing a scarf. Has a European look. And he's a 10,000, but the blinds are up to 50 and 100. Ryan Fee has raised with ace nine, but Garrett Greer has picked up jacks. Just calling with him. You know, most players would certainly three bet with two jacks. Garrett opting to call here. Mosin out, and now Brett Schaefer from Kansas, not going to play that. And Ryan Julius also going away, so two-way action. Ace, nine of hearts versus pair of jacks. Let's take a look at the flop. Now flop comes 10-10-4. Action on Ryan Fee, he checks. Garrett checks the jacks, surprised by that. Deuce of diamonds comes off. Ryan Fee, very confident in his poker skills. Going to check again. He does have a good feel for poker. I'll say that for Ryan Fee. Garrett is now going to bet the jacks. Confident they're good. Bets 150,000. Just 25% of the pot. Hoping his man will call. Doesn't happen, though. Ryan Fee gets away from the ace nine. He lost the minimum, the original raise. Garrett's from Newport Beach, California, 29 years old. Literally had it again. Not a 10, but... Garrett had an accident five years ago, a swimming pool accident where he was paralyzed, but he still comes out and plays on the World Poker Tour. We're thrilled to have him. It's his second WPT final table. He also finished seventh at the LAPC one year and eighth at the Legends of Poker. Walk and, do you believe in that kind of stuff? 
How do you not believe in it? Are you kidding? Dude, you just, you just pressed Dude, how do you think I have so much money? Your full metal jacket. I follow the rules. Oh, the luck rules? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. No 50s, and you don't look at walks, and you just always win. Wow. <laughs> That's how you do it. What, no 50s, what do you mean? You cannot, I never will touch a $50 bill. Poker jinxes, Ever. no 50s at the table. <laughs> well, Ryan Fee, very superstitious about that. He said, I never have 50s or bad luck. 50s are for losing peasants, and Ryan is not a losing peasant. Right. The winning guy that doesn't look at his guards. Winning general. On this hand, Mosin out, and Brett Schaefer, and he will raise to 200,000. Ryan Julius going away. But Fee with an ace three of clubs makes it 550 to go. Garrett out. Back on Brett with the threes making the call, so big pot brewing here. Uh, flop comes Jack, nine, six, two diamonds. Ryan Fee checks the ace high. He hasn't made a lot of continuation bets at this final table. Brett checks as well. Ace on the turn, hitting Ryan. Uh, Ryan now has the best hand with aces. He's going to check. Brett's not going to bite. He checks as well. Down to the river card, eight of diamonds. Yeah, that card should freeze both players again, I would think. Ryan checking. Brett checks as well. Can I see his hand? He's asking to see his opponent's hand after he showed the winning hand. What's the rule? This is allowed in the rules, but... It's a showdown. If they ask for it, yeah. Well, Vince, as you know, a lot of players don't like to show their cards after they've lost a pot. We could have a new poker brat move over Phil Helmet, Ryan Fee in the house. There's three reasons I'm so confident. The first reason I was just born this way. The second reason is I can very clearly and plainly see why I have an edge. And the third reason I'm so confident is because I come from an online poker background, which is where the competition actually lies. For seven years, I played the best players in the world. It's the highest stakes, heads up, no women, was successful. I could kind of care less about if people do or don't like me. I'm just me doing my thing, and I'm here to win. Well, he does his thing successfully, but as I said, if you're asking the opponents to show hands when you have the best hand, I've already shown it down. A lot of guys don't like it. He's in second chip position right now. He has played well so far. Back to this hand, quick fold by Julius, and now Ryan Fee has picked up the weapons of mass destruction. Pair of aces, makes it 200,000 to go, and Garrett right behind him has a pair of jacks. And again, Garrett doesn't three bet with two jacks. He just makes the call. Mosin going out. Brett gonna take a look at a nothing hand folds. Aces versus Jacks. Ryan Fee in a great place to really hurt the chip leader. Here we go with the flop. Oh, what a flop. Garrett Greer's flop the top set. He's the chip leader. His opponent in second chip position has two aces. This could get very bloody for Ryan Fee. Oh, and the most confident poker player in the world is betting right into him. Garrett going to slow play this. Just call. Don't chase him out. Yeah, if it comes ace, king, or queen, he'll be wondering. But if it comes three of clubs like that, Garrett Greer loving it. He has the best hand possible. Ryan Fee falling deeper into the trap. He's got the aces, and he's coming out with another bet. Million dollars. Garrett now thinking it through. Do you just call and see one more card? How do you get the most out of this man? Do you pop it now so he can't call? Well, there is a possible straight draw, possible flush draw out there, but I think you raise here. Ryan, that scarf's going to turn into a boa constrictor very shortly. <laughs> And he's going well, all Garrett's in. Garrett's going all in, and there you see the wince on the face of Ryan Fee. He is fearful. His opponent has flopped a set. That's exactly the case. Tens, you could have deuces, six combos. You could have any number of jacks. 
Yeah, he's made the call, and he doesn't like it. I have a set of chops. Oh, boy, the eyes rolling. The scarf choking. Ryan Fee has fell into it, a cold deck. And Vince, everything bad about it. Only one guy at the table could break him. If he doesn't catch an ace on the river, he's out of here in fifth place. And Vince, right now, it's fee fi fo fum He's saying, if I lose this pot, I'm on the run. It's so ridiculous. Ryan Fee close to the vomit bag. Two outer. Can he possibly hit? Here's the river card. It's another jack. Quad for Garrett Greer win this pot to eliminate Ryan Fee from this tournament. With a man. Former WSOP main event winner Ryan Reese. Happy as buddy Garrett Greer has won that monster spot. The girlfriend. Can I? Katie Clements. You thought you knew that ages, right? Oh, I didn't even know. Good thing you did it then. Romance in the air, Vince. Which one can give you a cash? Now, the girls ever run out? Now, the chip leader is Garrett Greer from Newport Beach, California. They're chanting his name. He's got 10.7 in chips. Yeah, it's a Garrett Greer show right now, Vince. Huge chip lead over these three guys. Let's see if he can cross the finish line and take down his first WPT title. Now, don't start getting crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, take a break. All right, after this one. Other players kidding him. Take a break. We know you're the big chip leader. You're the boss. You don't have to raise every hand, but he's doing it here with the King 8. Going to try to run over these guys. Mosin with a nothing hand folds. Brett with a 6-4 of hearts. No, nope, not going to do it. And Ryan also flying away. So Garrett Greer adding to his chip lead. <laughs> Smooth ride there for Garrett Greer. That's on you guys. Ryan Julius. He goes out. Garrett taking a breather. Mosin. Mullen. All in. He's on a short stack here. 1,500,000. Let's see if Brett has anything to compete with. He's not bad. King Jack. Very tough decision right here as to what to do. He would be in a race right now, but no, he elects to fold. So a nice all-in bet there by Mosin, who's been very conservative at this final table. Vince, I'm still wild because going into day three, Mosin was in 78th place out of 78 players, and yet here he is with four left fighting for the title. Garrett Greer now with 10.7. Dude, you can afford to double me. You like, you like me. I could, I could afford that. You and me heads up would be fine, man. Yeah, I mean, people are already making reservations. <laughs> as long as I get to come to the after. I like all you guys, man. This is this is fun. Action on Mosin. Is that cool? Can I come to the after party? <laughs> you are at the party, Mosin. Yeah. Mosin out. Now Brett. Oh wow! Look what he's done, Mike. He's got two aces on the button. Last time he had a ten deuce on the button. He raised it, won the pot. He's going to raise it again here to two hundred twenty-five thousand. Brian. Come on. Behind him with the Paradise shoves all in. You can't blame him, Vince. He's on the short stack with four left. Garrett gets out of the way. Insta call, of course, by Brett. Oh. Thanks, bud. Moving on up the pay ladder, baby. Let's go. Not yet, not yet. So Ryan Julius from Peoria, Illinois, 30 years old, in a heap of trouble. Let's go to the flop. And the flop is a 10-4-4, no help for Ryan. Right here, bud. Well, Ryan Julius needs a nine to win this pot. Nothing else will do. Here's Brett's wife, Stephanie. I haven't asked for it yet. It's a queen of clubs on the turn. Ryan Julius must catch a nine on the river. If it's there, it's there. Or he'll be our fourth place finisher. Yep, he needs the two outer. We are going to the river. And he's looking for nine lives here. Last card coming up. It is a seven of spades. Well, that's going to do it for Ryan Julius. He came to this final table in six chip positions. End up finishing fourth. The pride of Peoria, Ryan Julius, out tonight in fourth place. That is right. Ryan will take home 383,000. That's such a cool one. Let's go talk to him. Got him. 
just want to say thanks to all the support from everyone back home. It's nice to see my family and friends out here. Wish I could have done them a little better, but hey, came in 6-6, six six, end up 4-6, can't argue with that.